So over the past four years, I've tried so many different scanners, some really expensive ones, some really cheap one, but overall, it was just all about the same. So I decided to give a shot back to TWS because they do have the free mosaic scanner, which as I remember was quite complicated, but guess what? Four years later, it's actually not that bad and it's completely free. So in this video, what I'll do is show you my setting or some basic setting that you can work around to customize it to your preferred liking. So as usual, this is not gonna be financial advice and I'll link all the best tools for day trading in the description. So let's get right in. So we are in TWS and as I mentioned in the intro, there's a really good scanner and I'm really surprised. It's actually legit and I'm kind of feeling stupid because I paid for scan for so many years and these are like thousands and thousands of dollars that I could have just got for zero, which, you know, it's something to feel stupid about. And also there's a really good news feed, which pretty much all the news source. And I'll dig a bit into that in this video, but I'll, I'll do a full video on it because it definitely deserves it. Uh, there's so many ways to actually customize it. The first thing we'll do is show you which scanner I'm currently using and where to access these scanners. So to access them, the first thing you need to do is just click new and I'm un gonna unlock this layout uh, to unlock it. It's gonna be right here. I'm gonna go to new and the scanner that I'm using is gonna be the advanced mosaic market scanner, not just the regular one. And I'll show something very quickly, the reason why is if you go here and you say, you know, US scanner, you click done, what's gonna happen on this one is that it's gonna be connected for like a bunch of things and you can't like really set up the layout the way you would want or have it like two separate or on top of each other. It just makes it annoying. I personally don't like it. So I like to use this one better. And when you use the advanced one, which is gonna be the scanner, advanced market scanner, and we're gonna start with like a fresh one. If you wanna create a scanner, the first thing you have to do is you have to understand which exchange you're gonna be looking at. And to trade the US market or to just you know be involved in stuff that is normal market behavior, if you're tra trading the US market, you're gonna to need to remove, it's gonna be the OTC. And also I like to remove ARCA because ARCA is gonna be the ETFs. When I'm scanning for things, I just don't want the ETFs. I just want the regular stuff that's trading on NYC, Amex or NASDAQ small and regular securities. I haven't really played with um, removing this one, but so far I haven't had anything weird by just letting it on. After you did this, th the next thing you wanna look for is select this over here, depending if you're looking for scanner on positive result, it's really important that you click on the top percent gainer or top percent loser if you're looking for stock that are gonna go down. The issue that I came across or had is if you click on the top loser percentage right over here, then you put all the settings for the gainers, it's not gonna come up with some result. And I was so annoyed with that until I figured it out and I was like, huh, totally makes sense. We're gonna look for stocks that are gapping up. Then you're just gonna to have to enter your price. So I like to look at stuff above 20 cent. And if I'm looking for pre-market, I have a couple of variants. So I'm gonna look either for stock with volume over like 50K or 100K. This is more if I'm trading news. So I wanna see like quickly what's moving. But if I'm looking more at the end of the pre-market, I'm gonna look something like 1 million. So you can just add the M. Then you can add filter. And you can play a bit with after hour change. This is gonna show you really for like the pre-market or after hour session, or I just like to use the change percent and just click okay. And then you can just put the simple percentage that you're looking for. So if I'm looking for 10% and then I'll just click search. And here we go, we have a top gainer scanner, like super simple and it works as good as any other scanner. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10K subscribers by the end of the year. And also, if you're looking for the best tool, everything will be linked down below. Let's get back into it. Some stuff that are important to talk about are gonna be the columns over here. So if you wanna insert a new column, or I could start with talking about the one I have. I have, you know, the stock, which stock is it? The last, you know, what's the price, change, volume, and tweet volume score. So this is something that no other scanner have, but it's gonna calculate how much people are talking about the score. And there's another one that you can have, which is super important. And it's gonna be just customized layout 
and then you can just search tweet and then you go to this one over here so this is going to show you the change so it's like the percentage change but it's going to be for the tweet so if people are starting to talk a lot about you know a certain ticker or something like that it's going to increase i haven't back tested really like how accurate it is but when you're trading it's really important to understand you know how much people are involved in the stock because if you're looking at something like a, a mullen or an amc which has the ape or like a very cult like stock this is going to be really elevated and you can judge that there's a lot of dumb money in this stock versus you know when nobody is talking about a stock it's probably because it's not really in play so i'm definitely going to track more going forward but as of right now it's just something that i like to look at the tweet score and not the exact tweet change so this one i'll remove it once again and something you probably realized by now and it's definitely something that annoys me at time is if you add a column in one of these filters so like you insert a new column it's going to be over here let's put like news time it's going to add it like everywhere and sometimes you just want this on one of your filters not all of them so this is something that you're going to have to deal with and really figure out which column you really want to see or have like completely different layout with different time of day that could also be an option. So if you're looking for just like top gainer, this is how you would do it. If you're looking for the top loser, as I mentioned, really important that you click on the top loser and then you're gonna go to search. And as I mentioned, because I click the top losers and I have filters for top gainers, it's not gonna show any result right now. So what you need to do is go back over here, remove this, or then look for stock that are less than 10%. And then for open change, we can actually remove this one. And then you can go to search and here we go. Now it works. So you have to find or choose the proper global setting and then you can go ahead and customize it or fine tune it. So really important. Otherwise you're gonna bang your head against the wall and you're gonna be frustrated that you actually listen to this video. Following on to something else that I think is pretty important or pretty interesting for a lot of guys that trade momentum, which is my case. I'm gonna go to edit because I don't care about this scanner. And then you can look for stock that are being halted. So for this, because the market is closed, I can't show this, but I do have a video that's gonna show how it's actually working. So let's check this out. So right now we can see that I have my halt scanner at the bottom right over here. There's nothing on it. And then when it's gonna light up, you guys are gonna be able to see very shortly, it's gonna pop on the halt. So if you also look at any of your filters, if something gets halted, it's gonna become this like pink color with an H and you can see it over here. It's gonna show it right over here and all the information is gonna be shown like this. So I think it's pretty useful. The only thing that you wouldn't get compared to like some trade ideas or something like that is that it's not gonna make a sound. Like it's not gonna have like a ping or something like that when it gets halted or I haven't found a way to do it. And a solution I came to that is, that was actually from a long time ago, even when I used trade ideas, is I just have my halt scanner as like a priority. So it's really like in front of me because if something gets halted, it's because there's crazy volatility or sometimes some news just hit the stock. So this is like more important for me than high a day. For anything that's just like a high a day scanner or filters, I really just look at the top list and I open like a few charts and that's enough for me. If I need, I just put an alert above the high day and it's gonna ping me when it's crossing the high. So I don't need something that's gonna show me every two seconds or distract me from the trade that I'm actually looking at. So this is how you know the health scanner is gonna go. So now let's go back to the setting. So for this, quite simple, you need to select the health and after you can click, you know, minus 10 or 10%, it's not gonna really matter in terms of like, you know, how something is extended. What I like to do after is just volume. So 20 cent volume, at least 1 million. This is kind of the benchmark that I'm looking for. You can put it a little lower, like 550 and then just put a K for thousands. And then it's gonna show you if there would be something. I personally really use the, you know, top gainer, top loser, or I look for imbalances, which is an imbalance scan or the halt. This is gonna be my priority when I'm looking at stocks. Something that you wanna do after that is make sure they're linked. If you don't see this little icon to link them, just go over here and then you're gonna be able to have like a drop down menu where it's gonna show you this, right? Like, you know, this little thing to link all of the same color on all of them. The following thing we're gonna do is have a news feed. You know, I talked about Benzinga in the past. I do have a subscription still, but Benzinga is included for free with TWS. When everything is linked, the way you're gonna open this window, you're gonna go to news, newswire, and then you're gonna go about 
company specific news so it's this one over here so you can open it again i already have it open so i'm going to close this one and then you're going to have your setting over here and when you have company specific news it's going to show you like all the source so it's going to have a lot of source a lot of information there but when you see something on your scan maybe mullen there was news at you know 805 then you're gonna have the article that comes in also so you can click over here and have all the article so this if you don't see it what you're gonna do is just you know i can close this one then you're gonna just open it once and then you're gonna just go place it where you really like to have it and then you know you save your layout by just closing this and then every time you want to click on a pr it's just going to be linking automatically to this one for sure if you're trying to trade like breaking news or news that just coming out it's not gonna have the best filter but if you're just looking to find news or find stock that had news or just know what's the news on something you can just go over here and click and then you have all the headline for all of these right this is very simple it works pretty well surprisingly pretty fast also so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe as i mentioned trying to get to 10k before the end of the year it's going to be a tight race but we might get there so thanks for watching peace